Park AC. And we're going to be talking about Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi routers. Now, I have had Spectrum for a year now, but their Wi-Fi keeps dropping out, and I've had them over several times. And I'm renting the router, and I've got to the point where I've just had enough. So today, I'm going to replace their their Wi-Fi router with this by Rene, RGE5. It's supposed to be Wi-Fi 6 compatible, and we'll be, I'm going to replace it and stop paying for their Wi-Fi service, their advanced Wi-Fi. And let's I'm going to do that now, and uh, stay tuned, and we'll go through step by step. Now I've unboxed the three A Wi-Fi six router. Now the first thing I noticed right away, of course, that this has multiple antennas to get the most amount of signal transmission. Of course, it's got two point four and five G, five gigahertz transmission. That is wonderful. Relatively small. Get an idea how big it is in size. I have a paintbrush here. You can get an idea or if you put my hand on top of it. Now in the back, of course, you've got your power supply hookup, DC reset. You've got your cable to your modem and you've got one, two, three, four LAN connections. Now they say that you can do 120 different devices hooked up to this at the same time and it can handle it. So I'm going to be setting this up in a few seconds. Uh, you will need to download the app. The app will automatically detect your unit and set it up. So setting this up is a breeze. I have to say most, I've set up a lot of routers, but this one is intuitive. It's easy. And so if you're just a normal person, just trying to do your own thing, this is going to be pretty much easy for you. I suggest, though, that if you don't know anything about this, go set, watch a couple of uh, Wi-Fi router setups. Anyway, it comes with a CAD cable, a connecting cable. Uh, I don't recommend you use this if you're using this directly to your modem. These are flat cables tend to have uh, loss and uh, can give you some many issues. I would suggest at least a Cat 5 cable, but this is a Cat 6, so in my case, I purchased a Cat 8 cable, which is going to go from my uh, router to my modem directly. Now, in setting it up, it's very simple. Basically, what you're going to be doing is powering it on and turn off your modem. That's right, turn off your modem. Now, you're going to have it plugged in, but then turn it back on again. And the reason is a lot of, if you're using a cable company uh, modem and a cable company router, you, it's gonna be automatically locked and set to that particular router. So what you wanna do is basically turn it off and have it reset. Otherwise you'll notice that it might not discover your modem. Now, once it's done that, you'll basically be, have to set up your router to the modem that you're currently using most of them are dc dc hp uh, settings and it'll automatically find the ip address and everything else now you can do with this in one of two ways you can set up by downloading renee's app on your phone it will automatic uh, it will it will automatically set this help you set this up now the way you have to do that though is you have to go into your wi-fi settings find the renee uh wi-fi and link to it. So once it's connected, the app will talk, talk to you. In that case, you're going to be setting up two, two major passwords, or actually three. I, you're going to have a 5G, you're going to do 2.4, you're going to have your other settings. Now, what you don't want to do, okay, is forget these passwords. So the first thing you need to do is write down the passwords that you're going to be using. I suggest you use a very, very strong password because people are going to be trying to break into your Wi-Fi. I suggest uh, at least eight characters with a combination of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and some kind of special symbol like an apostrophe or such. I suggest that you 
it, you don't set up your guest Wi-Fi if you're in your own personal house. But if you do want to set up your guest Wi-Fi, make sure that the guest Wi-Fi password is different than your main password. Also, you're going to have your main encoder or main router password. I suggest you make that different than the actual password of your um, router. It's important. You don't want people being able to you be able to figure that out. Now, again, once you put in those passwords and save them, all right, you're gonna it's gonna reset. It's gonna do it upload. It's gonna readjust itself. Now that's a, it's a great unit. Now I'm gonna talk to you about how much better it was than my own unit. Now let's talk about performance. Once you've set this up and uh, you're going to, of course, obviously going to have to get all your devices and change the passwords, find it. And I hope you know how to do that. If not, you can watch various videos on how to do that. But once you've set up everything and let me tell you something, I have quite a few devices. I have I, my tablets, my television, my, but just not even want to go into everything. So obviously I need something that's going to be fast, got the power, can do it all. And some of the things that uh, PC Magazine said about this one thing, of course, is piece, it's reasonably priced, easy to install. And I'm going to tell you easily, the output, being able to switch from one device is so smooth, it's ridiculous. No USB port, unfortunately, lacks multi-G WAN and it does not support the older version of M MPA. Three. Now, how does it stack up on the other ones? Rene, the Ray RG E5, when it comes to speed, beats them all. But I tried the D Link before I tried this. And I still had crashes. I still had things because I have, obviously, I do a live channel. I'm doing all kinds of things on my Wi-Fi. I need my router to be able to handle the load. And I have to say, I tried the TP-Link. I tried the D-Link. They just kept having issues, just like the cable modem. And I put my Renee in there, and I have been happy for days. I am like, <laughs> Grandpa, when Grandpa's happy, the whole house is happy. Now... I want to talk about range. I told you that I have to kept having a problem with dropping. And dropping is a big issue for me. So in my father's bedroom, I'd be doing something in there, working on something at night, and all of a sudden, that's spinning. It disconnected from the, from the cable and reconnected to the, to the router, reconnected and unconnected. That's the problem I was having with the cable router. I haven't had the issue. I'm out in my backyard and I'm barbecuing or having a party and I want to put that Bluetooth speakers on. I mean, it would be dropping, reconnecting, dropping, reconnecting, dropping, reconnecting. I haven't had the issue anymore. I go down to the end of my driveway, my mailbox, if I happen to be playing music with me as I'm walking, right? Bluetooth headset. And... I walked down to my mailbox. I went across the street to my neighbor's house. I was talking to him for a second. I still, my music was playing. No drop and loss of signal. So, my feeling is, if you're having issues with your cable, if your cable router, or if you want to improve the performance of your Wi-Fi in your house, replacing it with the Rene RE will absolutely make your day now the other thing of course if you're renting your current cable router you're going to be saving that money and eventually it'll cut it'll pay off for the new one by itself now i do suggest that you do get a service contract you know that that they sell the two or the three year and making sure that the your router of course is plugged into some kind of surge protector to protect it i happen to use an uninterruptible power supply for my modem and my router and my computers, because if the sudden power surges and like that happens, you don't want to be taking it out. Anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, 
there's a lot of data on this and, and for someone who doesn't really understand all of this, I basically explained to you this. A simple is one works, one doesn't. I plug the new one in, I run the setup. If I don't, I go online, I find out how to do it and it's done and you forget about it because one thing I don't, I hate is technology that is flaky and doesn't work. So anyway, I, again, this is grandpa out. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel so you can find out more information like this. And until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech out. Thank you.